Prayer is Power The first reading of the day comprises of two episodes, one concerning Paul and Silas, and the second concerning the jailer who was guarding Paul and Silas in the prison. Paul and Silas were put in the inner prison, and their feet were fastened in the stocks. When Paul and Silas began praying and singing hymns, the doors of the prison were opened and their bonds were unfastened. The jailer, witnessing all that had happened, desired to be saved, so believed in Jesus and received baptism along with his household. We can draw two conclusions from this passage. One, our prayer is power, and two, like the jailer, to be open to the truth. Do not give up hope at the days of trials, temptations, and difficulties. Pray and trust in the Lord that He can work wonders. Go beyond ego, likes and dislikes, to accept and acknowledge truth. Let our mind and heart resonate with the prayer. Lord Jesus, lead us to the truth. Music